House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan, who just briefed Senate Republicans on uh, any and all of this. Well, if you listen to the war room of Joe Biden, they, you guys haven't found any evidence at all whatsoever. Um, would you like to respond to that? Well, there are all the facts John Tolman talked about, all the facts you've talked about, Sean, but I think the four central facts deal with Burisma. Understand the basic pattern here. Hunter Biden had no experience, but he gets put on the board. No experience. Those are two key facts. Then he has, he, he's asked by the people in Burisma to relieve the pressure that's coming from the prosecutor. He's asked to do that. There's a phone call made to the vice president of the United States. He then goes to Ukraine and does just that. He starts this uh, pattern of attacking Shokin, who ultimately gets fired, and he leverages the American tax money to get that done. That all happens. And that last fact, it sort of confirms what was in the 1023 that you just brought up, Sean. They said, we got policy preferences because we paid the Bidens. They were able to do that. That sort of confirms what's in the 1023. And then you add the final thing to it, which is how David Weiss and Merrick Garland and the Justice Department handled this investigation, the unorthodox way they handled this to be kind, and, and the, the deal they put together that the judge declined to accept. So all that pattern is exactly why Speaker McCarthy said, this warrants moving to an impeachment inquiry phase of our constitutional duty to do oversight. And that's what we've done, and we're gonna continue to push to get the facts and the truth out there. And you believe the inquiry itself will aid in, in terms of maybe stopping some of the uh, obstruction or lack of cooperation. When will we see subpoenas going out to Biden family members? James Comer's identified nine Biden family members that benefited financially. He's identified all these shell corporations, all these suspicious activity reports. Yeah. Nine family members, including grandchildren. I'd like to know what the grandchildren did for tens of millions of dollars. How much of the money did they get? How much money did they do in business with China, Russia, uh, uh, Romania, uh, Kazakhstan, uh, Ukraine, and, and other places? Will we, yeah. get, will we now see subpoenas for Hunter Biden and other Biden family members? And how soon will that happen? Well, I just signed subpoenas today that, that are going to people in the Justice Department that we think we need to talk to. Uh, Chairman Comer will determine when those happen for the people you just described. The, the beauty of, uh, I think, the importance of being in an impeachment inquiry phase of our oversight duty is that when courts see that, they know this is rooted in the constitutional principle that impeachment resides solely with the House of Representatives. So we're not engaged in a legislative function, which is the normal reason why we do oversight. We're engaged in this situation in an impeachment inquiry phase, which is, again, exclusively with the House of Representatives under our Constitution. And courts, when you get in this inevitable back and forth, they've been much more inclined to, to side with the House when we're pursuing that activity. So that's, that's why I think it was important that Speaker McCarthy did what he did yesterday. All right, Jim Jordan, Chairman, House Judiciary Committee. Thank you, sir, for that update.